Hi guys, this is Mark Filler. Today we are talking about Backendless Messaging Service, a very cool set of APIs available from Backendless out of the box. Any application that needs to have a way to broadcast data to a subset of users, a specific user, or really all users of an application can use Messaging API. Messaging API consists of two parts, pop sub messaging and push notifications. And in this video, I will be focusing on publish subscribe messaging. The concept of pop sub messaging is very simple. There is a program that we would call publisher, and there is another program that we would call subscriber. And in the most trivial sense, publisher sends out a message using publishing API, and that message is delivered to the subscriber. That's very simple. In the classical pub sub architecture, there is also a third component that typically is referred as message broker. And in our case, message broker is going to be backend list that would be running in the cloud or on your server. In a real application, you would have more than one subscriber because in the pub sub system, the idea is that the message is being sent once and it is delivered to multiple subscribers. However, the system does not preclude you from targeted delivery where you send a message to a specific subscriber. In case of backend list, both publisher and subscriber could be any application that can use our SDK. And we make SDK available for Android, iOS, JavaScript, .NET, PHP, which means any of those applications can use PubSub messaging out of the box. There is also REST API available in case if you want to go direct without using an SDK. What makes backendless PubSub implementation infinitely more powerful? is the fact that we provide intelligent delivery and message filtering. And let me describe how that would work. So with message filtering, there is a way to send out messages that would be sent to specific channels. So right here, consider Backendless Cloud as the message broker. And let's say that it has two different channels. There is a channel A and there is channel B. Subscribers, whenever they express interest to receive messages, can subscribe to receive messages that are published either to channel A or channel B. On the publishing side, whenever publisher sends a message to channel A, then the subscribers that subscribe to that channel will receive that message. And likewise, when the message is sent to channel B, then any subscriber that, that subscribes to receive messages from channel B will receive those messages. You could have more than one subscriber subscribing to a particular channel. And in that case, when message is sent, let's say to channel A, all the subscribers subscribing to channel A will receive that message. So this is a channel-based delivery. Another way that you can dis distribute messages using backendless is, is using a feature that we call subtopics. And with subtopics, it's very similar to channels with a slight twist. So let's consider that we do have a, a publisher and a set of subscribers, okay? In, in, in fact, the subscribers that we have would be subscribing to a subtopic that we're gonna call dallas.business.star, okay? So that's the name of the subtopic. And let's say another subscriber that is subscribing to Backendless expresses interest to receive messages that are published to subtopic dallas.sports.star, okay? So in this case, it's exactly the same channel, but it has different subtopics that basically have this structure with a dot del uh, delimiter. So now the publisher sends a message to a subtopic that uh, it is gonna be, let's say, dallas.sports.cowboys. So let's say it's, a, it's some sort of news or some sort of information that uh, is some, somehow related to Dallas Cowboys. In this case, the subscriber that has expressed interest to receive messages sent to dallas.sports.star will be receiving that message. And then let's say another publisher, or even the same publisher, sends a message to a subtopic called dallas.business.backendless, because backendless is a Dallas-based company. Then the subscriber that has expressed interest to, to get messages for dallas.business.star will be getting that message. Now suppose there is a third subscriber that comes in and registers to receive messages sent to subtopic dallas.star. In this case, both of the messages that were sent uh, previously, or let's say any new messages that are sent 
from that point on will actually be delivered to that third subscriber as well. So let's say then a message is sent to dallas.sports.mavericks. In this case, two subscribers will be receiving that message. The one that is uh, expressed interest to receive messages for dallas.star that kind of matches the pattern for dallas.sports and the subscriber that has expressed interest to receive messages for dallas.sports.star. So this way you can actually structure your application where a subscriber expresses interest in a pattern matching kind of system where patterns are being applied to specific subtopics that are designated by the publishers. So as you can see, it's very easy to create a system that, uh, that would be uh, distributing messages based on interests. For example, one way to apply that system is, uh, is in a system that would be implementing chat. In this case, you could have a, an application that is both publisher and subscriber, as you can see right here. And then on the other end, there is another user that is participating in this chat. And in their application, there is also publisher and subscriber. Okay, so whenever publisher right here sends a chat message, meaning a chat message from user using that application right here, it goes to Backendless and then delivered to the subscriber. And then these two applications could actually negotiate or somehow determine a particular subtopic that would be unique for these two users. As a result, any messages that are sent specifically for that subtopic would be representing messages for that chat. In this way, both users can exchange messages using that subtopic and thus creating a chat application. The possibilities are infinite. So anytime you need to broadcast the message, you can actually send it to either a specific channel that all subscribers are listening to or a specific subtopic that would only uh, be the, where the message would be delivered only to a subset of users. So as you can see, it's a very, very rich system. Uh, that's all I have prepared for you today. Hopefully you found this informative. And in the next video, we'll be talking about push notifications. Thank you, stay tuned.